Hi, this is David Holmes with the Sunday School lesson for the 15th of November. And the title is The Only Way Up is Down. And the lesson focus is We Follow a Leader Who Serves. So this lesson is talking about how Jesus uh, taught that to be a leader, you really have to be a servant in his kingdom. <clears throat> and he illustrates this when two of the disciples, I'm, I'm sure we're familiar with this story, James and John, they're walking along and they go ask Jesus if they can be his number two and number three men when the kingdom comes. <clears throat> and Jesus was pointing out to them that they're, they're completely missing the, uh, the way the kingdom is going to be set up. So let's read in Mark 10, 32 through 34. They were on their way up to Jerusalem with Jesus leading the way, and the disciples were astonished while those who followed were afraid. Again, he took the twelve aside and told them what was going to happen to him. We are going up to Jerusalem, he said, and the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and the teachers of the law. They will condemn him to death and will hand him over to the Gentiles, who will mock him and spit on him, flog him and kill him. Three days later, he will rise. So as they were on their final trip to Jerusalem, uh, Jesus' followers were afraid because they knew uh, how the Pharisees uh, and the, you know, the leaders of the, uh, the Hebrews, the leaders of the Israelites, felt about Jesus. <clears throat> and they had been looking for ways to trap him for a long time. And now they were basically going right into the lion's den here. Um, so they were understandably a little upset or at least a little anxious. So then we read, but that didn't put off James and John, right? So Mark 10, 35 through 40. Then James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to him. Teacher, they said, we want you to do for us whatever we ask. What do you want me to do for you? He asked. <clears throat> they replied, let one of us sit at your right hand and the other at your left in your glory. You don't know what you are asking, Jesus said. Can you drink the cup I drink or be baptized with the baptism I am baptized with? We can, they answered. Jesus said to them, you will drink the cup I drink and be baptized with the baptism I am baptized with. But to sit at my right or left is not for me to grant. Those places belong to those for whom they have been prepared. <clears throat> so the lesson points out that, you know, James and John were so, I don't know if I want to say arrogant, but they were so... Um, you know, self-centered here as to wanting Jesus to agree to what they were going to ask him even before they asked him the question. <clears throat> and their request obviously shows that they were still thinking about an earthly kingdom where Jesus was going to throw out the Romans, <clears throat> set up a new Jewish kingdom, and they wanted to be the two chief advisors. Um, and notice they wanted this over, even over the other 12 disciples, and we'll see how those guys are going to react. <clears throat> or the other 10 disciples, sorry. Jesus reminded them uh, that such positions were going to lead to suffering. Now, in their, uh, in their defense, James and John were ready for that. They said, yes, we will do whatever it takes uh, if you give us this. So then in Mark 10, 41 through 45, we read, when the 10 heard about this, they became indignant with James and John. Jesus called them together and said, You know that those who are regarded as rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their high officials exercise authority over them. Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be the slave of all. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. <clears throat> so obviously the the other disciples were not very happy about what James and John had done. Um, but Jesus used this to teach them that they were misunderstanding the kingdom of God. This was not going to be an earthly kingdom with lords and that sort of thing. <clears throat> so his kingdom was going to be humble. And anyone who wanted to be a leader was expected to be a servant of the people. And they were to do their duty without looking for any accolades. Um, and he was showing them this by his actions, right? By going and laying down his life for them. And the lesson closes by stating, Servanthood is generally not found in the grand and noble things we do, 
but in the simple everyday stuff of life.